Hello and welcome back to another podcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority, and today I'm going to be answering a question that Tom sent in by YouTube, and this is episode 7, and he wants to know about data links and how to use a data link with a CSV file. I have here a very basic data set. Uh, I have a list of plants, Oak City, Kenosh, Henry, and the Uintas, and I have a list of SKUs, and then I have my weeks of supply. This could be like an inventory level. So say, for, for example, with the SKU LHBC, I have six weeks of supply for Oak City and so on. I want to bring these into a multi, multi-dimensional matrix in Quantrix from the CSV file. And how I do that is by going up to my menu bar and going to data and selecting data link create data link and delimited text file double click on that I go ahead and I browse browse out to the file here and I have it saved as weeks of supply by plant by SKU dot CSV I select that file it populates my URL and I go ahead and I select select ne- next I can uh, determine what type of delimiter I have here as seen here and I can tell it what rows to skip I can go ahead and change some data types I believe in my next window as I click next I can change it to a text if that's uh, not an integer and so on so very robust in in what your options are here and continue to check through this and I want this to come in as a multi-dimensional uh, data data table if you will so I go ahead and I select that uh, if I wanted to come in to really just as a two-dimensional data set I could go ahead and just select a data table or a two-dimensional matrix uh, I'm going to create a new matrix here and then on this screen what I do is I select what I want as my categories versus maybe descriptors or items I don't really have any descriptors on this. Uh, I simply have uh, plant, skew, and weeks of supply. And I want my plant to be a category. And every plant can have every skew in it. So I'm going to also have skew be a category. And I can apply a sort to these if I want here. Ascending, descending, doesn't really matter for this simple example. And then my weeks of supply is an item that I want. I go ahead and I continue to step through these. Next, uh, what this what this page does here, or this this message box here, does is this says that if there's more than one item that's uh, in the data set, and we're grouping it as a category at the category level, well, how, how do you want to uh, group it? Do you want to sum the values of weeks of supply at the category level, or do you want to do a count a? Right here, sum is is okay. If I know there's no duplicates in my data set, I should be able to uncheck this and get the same results in regards to a sum. So I click next here because I'm fine with that. And once I click finish, you can see that I have imported skew and plant and the appropriate values uh, that are and the weeks of supply values from the CSV file that I had here previously. So if I were to do a quick comparison on those, so let's say Uintas, so let's move my plant over here. So that's kind of how it's organized. Uintas for L-H-O-R skew, it has six. The other one has nine, 13, and 13. You can see more or less it, it matches perfectly. So that's a very straightforward and simple example of how you can use a data link to import a CSV file into Quantrix Modeler. And if you have any questions about Quantrix that you need answered, feel free to reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com or post me a comment in uh, my YouTube channel or, and of course, you can follow me on Twitter. I absolutely love Quantrix and I believe it's essential. And I hope this has been helpful to you. And please join me again for another podcast of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.